and he continues steadfastly those believers and he continues steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and in fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers look at those people he continued now there are two words there doctrine fellowship but you know it doesn't say he continued either in doctrine or fellowship there are many people that will make a division like that today they say i love doctrine only i don't have to come into fellowship other people you know what i look for i look for fellowship but for doctrine i don't know about that but you see those disciples and those converts and those three thousand they continued in doctrine as well as fellowship those converts were really converted they were really children of god and you could tell because of their desire you could tell because of the experience that are taking place in them it's actually their continuation in the doctrine and in the fellowship was the evidence they were real children of god but then as they continue all these converts what can we tell about them number one they are continuing with fellowship and doctrine shows the sign of membership they said we just don't want to get converted and then go back into the world we want to be part of the people of god their continuity and their fellowship was number one the sign of membership number two it was the strength of the multitude all those multitudes thousands of people that came to know the lord they continued and that was the strength of that multitude number three it was the step towards majority they're learning the doctrine they are fellowshipping with the apostles. They are fellowshipping with the church. They are interacting with one another and sharing with one another. Actually, it was taking steps towards maturity. Number four, it was their submission to the master's mandate. The Lord Jesus Christ had said, Go ye to all the world and preach the gospel and teach everyone all nations and then baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo and behold, I will choose the end of the world as those converts continue in doctrine and fellowship it was to show their submission to the master's mandate number five it showed steadfastness in mentoring the apostles did not say well they have come to know the lord they, they could read the bible on their own they were listening to their neighbors on their own but it was steadfast in mentoring them that's what we need to do we need to be steadfast in mentoring the converts that have come even all the members of the church number six there's a strategy for multiplication when they are taught when they are enlightened when they are strengthened and they know what to do we're not doing the work alone we're passing it on to the members we're passing it on to the witnesses we're passing it on to the workers and it is strategy for multiplication number seven is a secret of sustained miracles that's how the miracle continued because they kept on interacting they kept on teaching they kept on preaching they kept on counseling they kept on edifying they kept on growing the church and what happened at that time is what you still happen at this time that we keep on doing the work at all times even as we have ever done now what do we do verse 28 take it therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the lord god the holy ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of god which he has purchased with his own blood that's why they continued they continued in the apostles doctrine after they were saved after they came to know the lord we must continue to teach the people of god in first corinthians chapter 5 reading from verse 17 therefore if any man be in christ somebody outside is a sinner he has repented he has entered into the kingdom 
is now in Christ. Salvation has come. Redemption has come. Righteousness has come. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, anyone who gets converted at that time, or at this time, if any man be in Christ, as a new creature, old things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. That's what we instruct the people. The new converts. That's how we will instruct the sinners who have repented, who have been transformed, who have come to the Lord, that they need to become new creatures in Christ. That's why those apostles kept on teaching the people so that their lives will actually turn to become new. First Thessalonians chapter 1, I'm reading from verse 5. For our gospel came not unto you in watch only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as ye know what manner of men, what manner of ministers, what manner of preachers, what manner of leaders, what manner of pastors we were among you for your sake. And ye became, you see that there must be a change, there must be a transformation. And ye became, there must be a conversion. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord. When the sinners are converted, we shall not leave them in their old ways, in their old habit, in their old character. But now they become followers of the preachers, followers of the pastors, followers of the leaders, followers of the ministers, followers of the Lord. Let's rise up and really talk to the Lord, really talk to the Lord. The Lord has shown us the Lord today. He wants us to have concern. He wants us to have concern. Thank you. 